What makes a person want to row across an ocean? Why would somebody leave everything behind, everything they love and enjoy, everything that is comfortable and safe, and risk it all in a tiny rowing boat out on an enormous pitching and tossing ocean? Are they running away from something? Perhaps being at sea is more simple than the real life they've left behind. Or are they seeking something, proving something to themselves or others, and searching for answers, excitement, and a sense of purpose? We set out together to row across the Atlantic Ocean. We wanted to discover what we were capable of. We wanted to have fun and have an adventure, the vagrant gypsy's life. We wanted to face and enjoy and endure the scale, the brutal power and the pristine beauty of the ocean environment. We wanted to attempt something difficult and dangerous, to do something daring and different and fill a void, if only for a while, in our cotton wool wrapped, comfortable, conforming, normal lives. We chased the sunset westwards for 3,000 miles. For 45 days, we were alone and unsupported on our little rowing boat. Everything that mattered and did not matter was left far behind. Our journey depended on our small boat, the only oasis of relative safety on an ocean up to 4,000 metres deep. Our lives felt more fragile and precious than before, determined solely by our luck and skills and each other. We rowed in pairs for two hours, then rested for two hours, rowed for two hours, rested for two hours, and on and on. 24 hours a day, all day every day, seven days a week, until at long last we sighted land in the end of our journey, silhouetted beneath the setting sun. When we were not rowing, we were snatching some sleep, or updating our website, or swimming, or cooking and eating, or scraping barnacles, cleaning the boat, or fishing. We were cramped and squashed together, sharing everything with no chance of escape or respite. We were happy, we were sad, we were scared, we talked and laughed and remembered and planned, but mostly we rode. We rode through day after day, each one the same, each broken up by small memorable moments. We rode through baking heat, the windy days with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the seagulls crying. We rode through fantastic colourful sunsets and on and on and on and on into the exhausting endless nights. Pitch black or strewn with constellations and shooting stars or lit by a fat full moon. We rode through all these nights and on into the grey dawns breaking our bodies waking and our minds cheering with each refreshing sunrise. Think of everything that you do in 45 days. All of the places that you go, the people you meet, everything that happens. We missed all of that. We just rode. But what did we miss, really? And what did we gain in its place? The experience was everything an adventure should be. It was wild and crazy, difficult and dangerous. But it was also peaceful and calm and simple. It's too soon to know what lessons from this experience will remain with me for the rest of my life. I'm still fresh from the ocean and the short-term joys are sweet enough reward for now.